Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On today's bulletin, a boy with a hole in his heart needs urgent medical treatment. Kezi villages continue to suffer after a poor harvest. Questions have been raised over the influence of Chimurenga music star Thomas Mapumo. And the annual police sports gala ends a success. The parents of a one-year-old boy diagnosed with a heart disease are appealing for support to enable their child to get important medical treatment. Selum Flanga gives us the report. A couple with a baby boy born with one ear was shocked recently when their one-year-old child was diagnosed with a 30mm hole in his heart. The devastated young couple from Choloto narrated their child's ordeal appealing for support. The one was missing. Then wakala ugu develop ama complications, breathing complications. Tena besi ngagu zisi sukunke lo kuguti wenza gala. U doctor wa figure what, okay, i inner ear is there, i outer ear ye ingeko. They can do the operation, but wa sesi tiku zomele silinde, maybe for three years. Dr. George Pretorius, a pediatrician, explained what could befall the child if he does not get help urgent. The child or the young adult will eventually die of heart failure unless the hole in the heart can be repaired and this has to be done surgically. He went on to explain the rarity of the condition. It is a rare condition indeed and in the course of a lifetime of general practice it's unlikely that one would see more than half a dozen cases. If you happen to be a uh, pediatrician, a specialist, you will of course then see many more, but in the general population it is a rarity. The one-year-old child now takes medication daily to control his heart palpitations, curb shortness of breath and keep at bay other respiratory infections. The parents are both unemployed and are surviving on support from relatives and well-wishers. In South Africa the, the cost of the operation is uh, 500,000 rands. For the whole operation, for example, like if I tell you, Mama, I have been going to the I have been to the I have been to the operation, everything. Medical experts say congenital heart defects are abnormalities in the heart structure that are present at birth. Approximately eight out of every thousand newborns have congenital heart defects, which can change from mild to severe. I am Selum Shang, reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Villagers in Kezi district are having trouble sourcing food because of a poor harvest and a lack of humanitarian support. Crispin Tavura reports. People in the drought prone Kezi district in Matabelen province are facing serious food and water shortages owing to poor rains last season. Cattle are dying owing to lack of pasture and water in this district, which is one of the worst affected in Matabelen. ATV caught up with BD villagers in Kezi who were busy on a food for work program. The villagers poured their hearts out on the misery brought by the drought. The Atoso vatikanda kusundao sunjinji kene kutisa mtika tama kwasu ngobe ye miti hai hai nika wanda. Iko manana. The food for work is only done. Maybe if you want to lay, it's composed of only, it's composed of five villages. But only three or four villages. This was the food for work. So I'm, 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 I'm a village like Nunavela, which is I come from the neighboring village. You see, we are all the way to this village. This is Tungusandir, a piti, a piti, a piti village. Of which we are going to go inside. We are going to go inside. Ten kilometers to and from a, a point of food for week. Kezi and the Matobo villagers often seek the help of spirit mediums to bring rains. <laughs> Bidi village headman Jeremiah Ngwenya made a passionate appeal for food assistance for his people. <laughs> 
Matovo Development Trust Secretary Lloyd Dewey also appealed for the singing of more poles in their area to avert water shortages. So, aluba gu injalo gu le mifud, aluba nga nga ba kona matam kumbi ama poholes kunga siza kakul. Matebele in South is the hardest hit and the worst affected district includes Gwanda, Kesi, Mangwe, and Ibulilima, where over 20 cattle are reported to be dying on a weekly basis. Reporting for ATV, I'm Chris Pentavra in Kesi, Zimbabwe. A debate has started among music lovers after a local singer disputed claims that music star Thomas Mafumo is the only musical authority for Chimurenga sounds. Jairo Saunyama gives us more. <laughs> Upcoming Chimurenga music star Alfred Musharukwa has rubbished claims that the genre only belongs to self-exiled Chimurenga music guru Thomas Mapfumu. Musharukwa, whose Chimurenga music videos are getting popular on the local scene, is one of the few musicians in the country who has taken up this traditional music genre. In an interview with ATV, Musharukwa said Chimurenga music belongs to every musician interested in the genre. <laughs> With Thomas Mafumo now overseas, Musharuka said he is there to carry this music the genre to another level. And the musician ventured into music at a tender age before he joined the late Mbira player Effort Mjuru. <laughs> Chumurenga music, which is steeped in the country's independence war struggle, was popularized by Thomas Mapumo and has its roots in the Shona music tradition, which relies heavily on Mbira instruments for inspiration. A number of young artists are taking up the Chimurenga sounds, infusing it, producing a unique blend of sounds, helping to preserve this musical heritage. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. The curtain came down on the annual police sports gala which featured a range of sporting competitions and entertainment. Robert Tafumane reports. The annual Police Commissioner General Sports Gala ended at Morris Depot over the weekend with the defending champions Support Unit Province taking home more medals and the men's soccer trophy. Zimbabwe Republic Police Sports Chairperson said the games were important for the building of a police team to compete at the forthcoming regional competitions. Uh, this is a, a platform where we intend to identify talent so that we form a team uh, to go and compete in um, Vindo, Namibia in the 8th edition next year. The senior assistant commissioner said the level of play from all the athletes in different sporting disciplines was high. The level of performance across the board is very encouraging. The level of competition is very high. I'm very impressed especially with the women football. They are just starting, but I was very impressed by the level of um, the standards which have been shown here. 
there was full representation on all the seven sporting disciplines from all police provinces in the country. At least 2,000 athletes took part in the games and sporting fans were treated to music by the police band. <laughs> Support unit province came first with 12 gold, 12 silver and 8 bronze, while Midlands province was second with 12 gold, 6 silver and 8 bronze, third was Harare with 11 gold, 7 silver and 5 bronze medals. Teams participating received a mega boost when Mbada Diamonds donated soccer keys to all the 17 police provincial teams. The tournament was used as a platform to prepare for regional police games penciled for Namibia next year. Reporting for ATV, Robert Abmane, Arare, Zimbabwe. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening.